Hey what's going on guys, Turtywarty here, and welcome back to another uh, Minecraft modding tutorial. This one is going to be episode 36, I believe, and in this one we are going to be doing custom world types following our world gen series, um, mini sort of series that we're doing. Um, so, let's get started. So, first, um, if you are going to make a world type, what you need to do is go into biome in it, no, not, not block in it stupid going to biome in it and you want to go down to here and we need to remove this so biome manager add biome we need to just remove that line like that and that will make sure it doesn't spawn in the overworld if you do want it to still spawn in the overworld you can add that by uh, you can add that back um, but Obviously, you know, we're not going to, we don't want it, so we're going to get rid of it. And that's, that's biome in it, so pretty simple. Um, next, what we want to go and do is create our world type, of course. So, you want to go into world, and in, in our test where we have our biome, we want to create a new class. And we're going to call this world type test and hit enter. This needs to go ahead and extend world type. So it extends world type and go ahead and import that. Then you need to go ahead and create the constructor. So just got to wait for my eclipse to load. There we go. And inside of this you just want to put string name and inside of here in our um, actual constructor, you want to put super off of name. Then you, um, we need to go ahead and create another method. So this method we're about to create called get biome layer. What this method does is it tells, um, basically tells you, it tells the game what biomes you're going to have inside your world type. So we can return a new gen layer test. And inside these brackets, you want to go ahead and put world seed. And that's that. Now we're just going to create this, this class. So creating world types is pretty simple. Um, it's really not a hard thing to do. So, yep, in the same place. And that needs to, yep, go ahead and extend gen layer. And we obviously need this. Now we need to create the constructor. And we also should define, um, actually we'll define a variable in a minute. So in here, once again, we're going to put, well, not once again, but we'll put long seed. And in here, you want to just super off of seed. Then we're going to do get ints. So this is a bit of maths, and this needs to stay the same um, almost all the time. So we need to do int dest. I don't remember what that stands for. It's equal to int cache dot get int cache of width times depth times depth um, actually we have it as um, area width so area width times area height I think yep I think so yes and then we need to do oh no that's slightly wrong it needs to be an int array then we need to do a for loop, so for um, int dz is equal to 0, and dz is less than um, area height, and dz++. Inside of here we want another for loop, so for int dx is equal to 0 d 
dx is less than area width. No area width. And dx plus plus. Inside of here, we want to do this dot init chunk seed dx plus x or plus um, area x and then um, dz plus area z just like that um, actually it's area y then what we want to go ahead and do is dest and open some square brackets inside of this you want to open um, normal brackets inside of this you want to put dx plus dz times width um, area width when I've been doing this I've just been using width and um, depth but that's fine and then you want to put wait why do we have oops didn't mean to put brackets around that and that equals biome dot get ID for biome this dot allowed biomes and then in bracket in square brackets next int and brackets this dot allowed biomes dot length and just go ahead and put that at the end and down here you just want to go ahead and return no not there um, there we need to return dest just like that so now that's done and now we need to go ahead and actually create this array of allowed biomes. So this is basically the biomes that you want inside of your world type. So it's an array of the biomes. Every time you want a new biome, you just add it to this array. So you want private biome, square bracket, square bracket, allowed biomes is equal to, open some pointy brackets, I don't know what they're called, and then you want to put biome init dot and we're going to use test biome now uh, and then put a semicolon on the end now if you want more biomes you just put comma and you can put um, biome init dot um, spook underscore biome for example um, but obviously we don't have that but what you can do if you want vanilla biomes you can put biomes dot and then you can have all these different things um, so I want to have a um, a cold Tyager as well as my biome so that's pretty much it um, obviously we need to go ahead and register this world type so let's go into our registry handler so where have we got that util handlers registry handler and you want to go down to post init registries. This should probably be the first thing in here. And you want to do world type. And we're going to call this test underscore type is equal to a new world type test. And for the name, we're just going to put test. And go ahead and import world type from net.minecraft.world.world. Net.minecraft.world.world type. And that's that. So you, obviously you can do um, test type if you want, but we're just going to use test. Um, and I believe that is it. We don't need any lang. Um, we don't need anything else, I suppose. So let's go ahead and run the game. Um, I will see you guys in the game and hopefully it will have worked alright so guys uh, we just got into the game and you want to go ahead and click create new world now we're going to just turn this to creative and we're going to call this 
um, our world type. Then you can go to more world options, and um, we're going to make sure this is on, 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 uh, off, and click world type once, twice, three times, four times, five times. So here we have generator.test. Now obviously if you go ahead into your lang, we can make sure this is correct. So we can go down to the bottom and we can do slash slash world types. Right, so guys, as you can see, we are definitely in the game. Um, everything's here. Um, it's all very uh, interesting, to say the least. It actually looks pretty cool, um, I'll admit. But, uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, so guys, I managed to fix it. Um, so what you need to do, um, the issue is, so in registry handler, um, I had this as a capital T. Um, and basically that was causing some glitches um, and it was getting quite confused so now I've just changed it to lowercase in both my registry handler and the lang and if I'm now in the game you see world type text test um, so yeah that's that's that um, so if you guys did enjoy this video please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe if you really enjoyed please do be sure to share it and I will see you guys um, soon. Goodbye.